Hey Pisces. So I'm here to do an empowerment reading for Halloween. So happy Halloween, my favourite day, day of the year. And look, I've even got vampy nails. I absolutely love them. And I keep showing them on every video. So you're going to start getting sick of me because I keep getting them changed. I've never done that. I think I'm uh, awakening the feminine. <laughs> um, so... I'm going to be doing these for Halloween. I have taken a break recently. Um, I've got a lot going on, but we should get some closure at the end of November for all that. So, um, yeah, things will get easier. I am positive about that. Um, so tomorrow and the day after, I'm going to be doing the generals for November. They extended for Patreon and anyone who's on my Patreon will be getting a bonus uh, reading as well as a massive thank you for your continuous support especially when I've been going through all this and none of you have dumped me and come off Patreon and things like that um, I'm really really grateful for that so I'm going to jump straight in and get these readings out so Parsis guidance so you are being guided you know so you may have been through dark times but the the thing is now, you may be still feeling like you're in dark times, but you've got the spiritual lantern there. Things are dark. She doesn't know exactly where she's going, but every step forward now is going to be illuminated. And you could be guided by spirit. It is Halloween. The veil is at its thinnest. And spirit could be guiding you towards somebody. There's, there's a shadow in that light. There's growth there. You know, the grass is growing on the floor. You're going towards better times. So what's crossing that energy from a party is karma. So we are in a massive karmic loop at the moment. We've been in it for the last four or five months. And I think we're going to be in it for at least another four months. Um, I wanted to say people pleasing then. So Parsis, be careful if you're people pleasing. You know, because we get we get back what we mirrored. You know, so you'll continuously get people draining on your energy if that's what you're doing. So there will be karmic contracts around you that need to kind of be dispersed off now. Um, whether it be something to do with employment, love, friendships, you know, bringing yourself away from people uh, like that or situations, karmic situations. Um, so you've been ha asked to kind of dissolve those kind of karmic contracts because you'll be getting ready for your new contracts. But you're getting, you're getting, you're being guided towards better contracts. You'll also, you may also see people that have hurt you in the past. You may also get information about their karma coming around because we one thing we can't escape is karma no one escapes karma it's the law it's not a bad thing it's not a negative thing you know we karma we can get rewards from karma also we can get bad things happening it's just the law of balance that's all it is and at present we've got congratulations so i do feel like you are ready for this new journey you know You've been given your energy wings. It's now time to use the gifts and strengths that these wings carry to provide guidance and empowerment to yourself and others. Your experiences are your qualifications. You've learned a lot about yourself. Sort a new spiritual hearts and spread your angelic energy wherever it's needed. You need it as well. It's almost like you're getting your wings. I love it. I absolutely love it. But it does look like you've been through hard times, yeah, in the past conflict. So it could have been people bringing conflict towards you. It could have been certain situations that were, um, you know, kind of internalising conflict, that type of thing. And that's why it's all coming around now. I feel like you're going to towards being rewarded karmically. Because at present now, it's time to trust that the rainy days are over or will very soon be over. Sorry, I've just, I've got a massive itch. On my right hand. What does that mean? Left to left to leave, right to receive. And I'm talking to you. So you've got to have faith in yourself that the rainy days are soon to be over. And you can treat yourself like a goddess, a, a god, a goddess. Do you know what I mean? You're rejuvenating. The sun is rejuvenating. It's happier outcomes, happier days come in. You're definitely in for a karmic reward. Because then going forward, you've got choices in direction. You don't have to go back down that path that you've already been in. Your path is starting to open up. So there's new options. There's new choices. You've learned a lot, Parsis. 
your power now is to no longer feel abandoned it's the sense of if toxic people are being the with this karma energy the universe will remove people that need to be removed but the hand of the divine is also saying get up off your knees don't let this drain you let allow me to take you to the towards the people and places that will bring more light into your life and you've got that there you're being guided towards better so your reward is, is better people better situations it's lovely the outside influence solar plexus it's time to start using your gut instinct because a lot of the time we try and make decisions with this this is just a motherboard it's just a full electricity and we can't make decisions with this if you're ever in, in a situation where you're scared you feel it here if you're in a situation where you're feeling um, excited you feel it here you've got to trust your solar plexus your solar plexus is telling you that certain people need to go because their hope for you spirit's hope for you is that you accept the healing some of my past is you're struggling to sleep um and you do need to sleep in order to kind of gain that healing from the spiritual hands that are around you so you've got loved ones in spirit that are wanting to help heal you um but there's some type of this past conflict it's kind of that could be playing on your mind but also i wanted to say is it too good to be true so if you're feeling like a peaceful life at the moment you could be questioning it and doubting it like is it too good to be true i'm waiting for the next bad thing because i don't see it i really don't see it your outcome is manifesting well be careful because we can manifest negative and positive you start you've got to constantly think about what you want how you want to feel you know put it into practice i am lucky even though you might not feel like it eventually you'll start to like kind of embrace that frequency try mirror work standing in front of a mirror telling yourself that you love yourself and what you deserve and things like that you know it's hard to do i cried the first few times i did it but now i'm like i love me <laughs> you know so Let's get some clarification. Where are we being guided towards for Pisces? The moon, Pisces, you're being guided back to yourself. There's a choice between light and dark. But you're going forward, you know, we're going from storm waters to smoother waters with the six of swords. There's options, there's opportunities. Your lessons are the crows, and the crows are now pulling you forward. The crows are very spiritual birds. Karma. Yeah, the end of heartbreak. Um, if someone has made you feel that way, I definitely feel like you are going to be freed karmically. And karma, karma never forgets a name or an address. I promise you now. The congratulations. What we're congratulating. Oh. The Queen of Swords. You're starting to look after your heart a bit more. You know, she's put her ace of cups there behind bars. So then she can think properly and make agreements. And it's Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy there. But she's seeing it for what it is. You know, she's got a sword in her hand and it's almost like you can step forward. I've been burnt in the past, but it doesn't mean I'm going to distrust everybody. But step forward. And as soon as I think you kind of bullshit me, I'm just going to cut the cord. I'm not going to get emotionally involved until I know that this situation is good for me or you're a good person for me you know it's that type of thing the call of the ass queen um and she's not she's just been through a lot you know she wants she don't want red flags she wants the go ahead you're starting to protect yourself more so i want to look at this past conflict could have been dealing with a sagittarius or someone who was very impatient the Hierophant in reverse. So there could have been like a split, um, a commitment that had gone. They could have also been cheating, third parties, um, or someone looked over you at work. We've got the three of um the three of pentacles. Wow, my, my head's just gone blank. Maybe you were going through a period of um feeling head blank, fog. Teamwork makes the dream work, it's in reverse. So there's definitely a commitment, something that you were committed to. But at present, you're resting. So look at this. In the past, your heart was ripped to pieces. But at present, when you rest, your heart can be fixed. 
and that's why you need to rest and even if you can't sleep make sure you're still getting that rest your body's getting that rest so because you're going to new choices in direction <sighs> death and rebirth and we're in scorpio now endings new beginnings it's your choice where you want to go could be dealing with scorpio but i feel it's more the time you want out you you realizing that the world that you thought you lived in was is so much bigger than you thought it was you know some of my passes they might they could be like a dream to travel to experience things that you've not been able to because you're gonna be in a better place to do it the queen of pentacles She's a nurturer. She takes care of finances. She takes care of her own things. You could have someone very trustworthy coming in. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy there. But someone who's very, very trustworthy. The High Priestess. Your intuition is a gift. Your intuition is a complete power. You, you know, these people that uh, you're letting go of, we've got the Four of Wands in reverse. I kind of feel like, which makes me sad, I feel like you look back at these people and you thought they were soulmates or a twin flame or, you, you know, there was something more than they were. And maybe they tried to portray themselves as that as well. Always trust your gut because you're manifesting. So what you're manifesting is your outcome. The two of swords in reverse. No more being blindsided. No more being blindfolded. It's in reverse. The blindfold's off. You're seeing it for what it is. The chariot sign of cancer, positive movement forward and the world, because your world is majorly about to change. Things are going to go back. What comes to us goes back by free. I say that every single morning and that. So, happy Halloween. Mwah.